All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Ram X3, bright and early. I believe it's Thursday morning. It's the day after raid hour, which is Wednesday. So, yeah, Thursday morning. Um, I just wanted to give a short update on the Heatran conclusion since I didn't make a video about that last night. And then as well as... Um, turn that off and then as well as you know showing you how i clear up my boxes it's something i've always kind of struggled with is getting rid of pokemon what do i save what do i dump i've got two different ways that i think work really well so let's hop into the heatran So the Heatran night was pretty pretty much a bum until the very last two. It's always the last two for me that are are worthwhile or worth keeping. The first one, shiny, very cool. Bad, bad IVs. I'm saving them for a trade with a buddy, so I'm stoked about that. And the other one was this guy in 96. We'll take them. My previous best was a 93. So, very nice. I know in the other video it was like, I'm good, but I mean, this is better. So, there we go. Coming up tomorrow, Friday, we have Cresselia Hidden Raids. So, keep your eyes out for that if that's your jam. And, yeah, that's Heatran. Alright, so, this now, how I get rid of my Pokemon, how I clear my boxes. I have two methods that I go through. The first one, the more simple one to explain, is also the more time-consuming one. It's the number method. I go through and I go, oh wow, I have a lot of Weedles. And I'm very, I like my IVs, I like all that stuff. So I check all of them. Nope, trash, 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 trash. And I keep in mind like, oh, could this be Battle League? Could this be Great League? And I don't really do a lot of the Battle League or the Great League. But um, I keep that in mind, but I already have uh, a Beedrill for Great League. I think it's Chill Drill. But now I, I know I'm going to trash these. And so the next thing I, I'm going to ask myself is, do I need to keep them for anything else? Like, what about trades or evolves? And in this case, the Weedles, I'd actually keep these for evolutions. Because I have, you know, enough candy to evolve all of them. Easy experience, but I'm going to save it for the double evolve. Next, next double evolve XP event. So unless I absolutely need to get rid of these guys, I'm gonna keep them. But that's how the number method works. For example, these Pidgeys. Again, easy evolves, easy experience. Dump, 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 dump. So all those are dumps. Same thing with the Rattata. So what I'm looking for when it comes to the IVs is um. I want a three star. If it's like a rarer or like a less common Pokemon, I'll take down to a 93%. But if it's something, you know, more common, something you see in the wild that you just have to grind for, I only keep 96 to 100%. Um, and I try to stick to 98 and up. That is my number method. And it's time consuming, but that's, that's about all there is to it. The other method is more based on the actual IVs. Um, so if you don't know, you can type in zero asterisk, zero, or one asterisk, two asterisk, three asterisk, and then four asterisk for your perfects, and it'll bring up all the Pokemon like that. So there you go. These are all my zero stars. If you put a semicolon, you can add like a one star. So what I usually do is the one star and the zero star together. I go to recent. And I know unless there's for some reason like a Pokemon in this area that I want to keep for a trade or whatever, I just dump them. I don't even think twice. So you can see how it's just boom, boom, boom. And there's a bunch of them in here. Holy cow. Like that Drift Blim, I might want to keep for a save or uh, keep for a trade since they don't show up a bunch in my area. But I know I have a better one somewhere that I was just waiting to evolve. Right on. So then I want to talk about these last four Pokemon, the Aerodactyl, Larvitar, and the Skarmory. I'm not going to delete those right now because I'm saving those for the double transfer spotlight hour event. I know it's only two candies as opposed to one. But I mean, that adds up. That's four candies for Larvitar instead of two. Which I would say is pretty good. 
So then all these down here, I've already gone through them, but they all have a purpose. So mostly I'm saving them for trades. Um, all the Beldums are for trades. That Larvitar is going to be for trades. I could keep these Larvitars for trades, but I already know how many I have. And I don't need more. The Goldian I'm keeping to evolve. The Mischievous I'm probably going to end up evolving. I think Doe Duo is sick, so I keep it. You know what I mean? It's just kind of stuff like that. Um, the next thing I like to do, go to two star. And this is where it gets a little more time consuming because you can have Battle League Pokemon as two stars. So like that, like if I thought, oh, this is Battle League worthy, I'd star it. But I, I don't care. Um, but essentially, what I would do is I would find the Pokemon. Like, I'm like, oh, maybe that's it for Starly. I would save it. Right, and I'd go through all the... I'm not going to go through all of them. But I would go through all of them, save the ones I want, and then go through and, and blast them, get rid of them. And then for the last, you know, three stars, same thing. I would just go through and check. And I'm keeping 96 and above. So what 96 means, it's a 96 percentile, meaning, you know, it's better than 96% of other Pokemon IV-wise. So a 96 has two... Like 14, 14, 15, or 13, 15, 15. It has two less than the total of 45 IVs. Uh, if you don't know what IVs are, every I'm going to go through it really quick. All Pokemon of the same species have the same base stats. So all Turtwigs, for example, have a 100 attack, let's say 100 speed, or 100 HP, 100 defense, for simplicity. That's not true. But what IVs do is they give that Pokemon a chance to have more than that 100, up to another 15 points on that base 100. So this Turtwig of 96, they have 114, 114, 115, which is better than a 100, 100, 100. It may not sound like a lot, but it makes a difference in a world where everyone plays around stronger Pokemon. That's how IVs work. Cool. So now the same thing is I would go through essentially, let's say like these Houndors from Spotlight Hour. That is a 80 something. That's a even lower 80. Like these three I would actually get rid of. Um, that Snover I'd get rid of. <clears throat> Maybe not. I don't know about Snovers. But essentially just go through. Check mark the ones you want to keep. Trash the rest. Um, legendaries. I always keep them for the double trade candy hour. Um, if you do that, you can end up... That's that's how a lot of people get, like, stupid amounts of candy. Like the Rayquaza here. Or, you know, you'll see people like the trainer club with, like, 100, 200 candies of a certain legendary. And, yeah, they have to rate them a lot. But uh, it's a lot of saving it for those, those transfer hours. Um, so, yeah, that's how I transfer my Pokemon. It's something I've kind of been working on my thought process for it um i can create a longer video go deeper in depth if anyone wants me to but that's those are the methods i use um i don't have a max out storage so it's always i'm always doing this every couple days just getting rid of things i don't need anymore so i hope this helped if you have any of your own methods of getting rid of pokemon go ahead and let me know down below maybe there's better ones that i just am not aware of which could easily be the case um but anyways thanks for hanging out uh, I, I've been Raymx3, and I hope you enjoyed this video, so I'll see you on the next one. Peace.